our most proficient Arcadian eligible right. Mario. Um, so, you know, I'm excited to see him come out here and, you know, do some work. But the question is, can he stop Giovanni, who hasn't dropped a game in his pool yet? Right, and he's going to need to if he wants to stay alive in the pool. Otherwise, we're going to have a really fun situation on our hands overall for the, uh, you know, for the tiebreakers coming on. A Diddy Kong on the screen. Yeah, so Giovanni was a Diddy main in Smash 4. Yeah, the Dakpo style coming through. They, uh, wrong players, or wrong players, Jo, or, Gohan's player one, he's not the Daycon, so uh -huh. there's a bit of an error there, but we get to know the matchup at least. It is going to be Daycon, er, uh, Mario versus the Daycon, Gohan versus Giovanni. Yeah. Matchup that was kind of, you know, pretty well known in Smash 4, you know, that was the rival. It was the uh, headliner for Civil War for sure, coming on. Um, yeah, and especially in this one, Mario's been kind of just floating around. Uh, Diddy Kong was definitely kind of a character that was he's written been, off in the metagame, but so, slowly up coming up. back, yeah, coming through. Find, back. find a few infinites, find a he few setups got, for uh, Got kills. some nice buffs, you yeah. know? He got some things, so, you know, he is alive in this game. But is he going to be strong enough to take on uh, Gohan's Mario? Find out. And of course, Gohan is going to be coming out swinging and looking for blood because, as we said, he's in a must-win, do-or-die situation. Giovanni's already pretty much locked up that he's going to make it out no matter what. If he at least wins a game here, he's got it for sure on tiebreaker. So that's kind of what's at stake here for our two players. But of course, both of them want to just win. You know, if you're Giovanni, yeah. you just want to win it clean out. Don't want to bother with tiebreakers, right? Exactly, but oh my god, Gohan with the crazy read on the photo right now says, I see your toes sticking out right now. They look a little cold. Let me help you out with that. Here's a forward smash. One stock in, we already have the let's go Gohan chance in the crowd. Yeah, they want their Fan uh, favorite. to get back. <laughs> get back into it. Yeah, definitely a crowd favorite here today. And Giovanni is doing everything he can, just trying to find an opening. He does have banana in hand set up. Good double jump away, though, from Gohan, though. Just didn't eat the banana. All right, Giovanni just trying to set up with these uh, banana plays right now, just rolling in and out, trying to play safe. But Gohan just has it down. Great use of the flood right there. Just put Giovanni in a bad spot. Right, I think he's in down tilt range, too, for the up special to uh, up smash the kill. Yeah, you see him yeah. going right there trying so, to set it up. I actually didn't know that was back in this game until I actually played uh, in the Empire Day main. Uh -huh. To uh, inform me, it only really connects if you get the running down tilt. Right. If you do standing down tilt, it doesn't connect into the up smash, but you have to keep your momentum from running. So that's something that Gohan's going to have to be aware of and position himself accordingly for. Wow, that was such a good down tilt coming out from Oh Gohan. my god! Setting up for a big forward air. Takes the stop. Just on one play, down tilted Giovanni straight out of a monkey flip. And up air, up air, forward air takes it. He's right in the driver's seat. <laughs> All right, and Gohan with a really steady lead right now. Nerza shield just kind of pokes Giovanni in the face, trying for these caves, but Giovanni just waiting it out. And uh, you know, to Giovanni's credit, he's done. He's taking some of the best hits Gohan has to offer, and he's not totally out of it. You know, it's, I'd be a little demoralized if it were me in yeah. that situation. But he's battling right back. If he takes the stock now, it's. It's he's, not the he's worst. in a deficit, but he's within range, within striking range. It's not the worst, for sure. And, if, you know, as far as match flow goes, if your opponent does pick up those big hits, the most you can really ask of yourself is just to stay within striking range, just make a game of it. All right, dash attack. I kind of would like to see the grab there, but the dash attack going to work. He's going to go off and up him out of the of barrels and gets a down smash. Yeah, maybe a misplay. Giovanni probably a little... A little confused little on what was going on, just didn't tech or anything. Yeah, just Landing aerial or something. <laughs> Throw out a neutral air with it. I mean, it could be a multi-hit thing where he's just in lag. Oh, and in we the don't lag know? from the uh, from the barrels. Oh, you might be you might not be maybe, able to break out of that. Maybe. You couldn't. You could not in Smash Four. So I'm huh, sure that's they probably carried that. Oh, maybe you couldn't. That's possible. Tech. Yeah. But yeah, Gohan coming out swinging. You know, dropped an early set, but you know, looking to take a 2-0 over the first scene in his pool says I. I mean, right. it may have not looked great. But I looked really good. Yeah, a 2-0 here for Gohan would be huge. It keeps the uh, threat of a three-way tie alive for him in the pool to see if he can't make it out. Otherwise, he's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and beat his three seed. And of course, as we we're saying, if Gohan's able to take this game, I'm pretty sure he locks it up for himself in terms of uh, winning three-way ties to make it out. All these little engines you can see in the round robin pool is not just the pride on the line, but making it out is always an adventure. Jo Giovanni land. OK, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the stage exists. Let's go. Like. Get an air dodge or something. Getting up there, man. 
A little paralyzed still. I just like hit a button. Okay. No. There's a down Don't air. Don't there. And there's the down air. Giovanni cannot find a grip on this game right now. Gohan <laughs> just being so commanding right yeah, now. I just not really able to get anything going either. Just getting hit out of monkey flip. And the frustration is probably going to start mounting here for Giovanni. Okay, forward throw into the flood, but Giovanni just going to play it safe. Go to ledge. Yeah, covering so many options. And wow. uh, yeah, now he's feeling it, so that's a heat check. So I'm going to go for a raw board smash. In the no, I, throw, no problem. I actually think that was really smart because he placed it right where the banana was. Says if Giovanni's so focused on picking up this banana, he's going to get forward smash for it. It was kind of just an awareness check right there saying, you, you're looking at me, right? Like, Keep him honest. Exactly. Yeah, just these neutral areas breaking havoc, not really, you know, Giovanni not having a really good answer in neutral. Gets a forward smash, not enough to kill, that's unfortunate. And Giovanni actually, definitely wanted that. I really like the way Gohan's placing these neutral areas because Giovanni can't really throw the banana in for it. And there's the trade. Giovanni gets stage spike, not able to attack it. Gohan goes out there, but he's not enough. Three stock chance coming out. Yeah, the neutral are so devastating, just bust up the barrel. Okay, banana into the, the up smash. Crowd jinxed it a little bit. And yeah, they're feeling it. They're calling for three stocks. You know, Giovanni says, "I'm still, I'm still here. It's not, not over my dead body." Gets, uh, gets the stock. No three stock, but he's, you know, in a huge deficit. Got a lot of ground to make up. Forward smash just does it. Gets some damage. Here we go. Furious George starting to come out. You can feel Giovanni getting a little bit of momentum. Yeah, here's a banana. Gohan maybe getting a little anxious. The damage is starting to rack up. I oh, oh he falls out of the forward smash. <laughs> down tilt and he had the a standing floor. down tilt. Didn't get didn't didn't connect to the out smash like you were talking about. Yeah, but he was still able to get in a forward air, so he was you know still granted some stage control, some damage. Could have been worse. Pop guns coming out, and yeah, he's just looking for a chance to hit him with his banana. You know, at some point you got to know he's throwing out these aerials. There's the out smash. And Wallace wants a full stock lead. I just am. mere percentage points coming out from Gohan. The momentum kind of dying Go just a little bit. Gohan taking a deep breath, coming back into this saying, you know what, I was getting a little bit antsy before this, but you know what? Sometimes when you start losing the lead, you start playing worse. you got to just recollect yourself. Yeah, take a little bit of breath. Built back just a bit of a lead. Got a little bit of an up air ladder. That's kind of where the damage has been done for uh, for Gohan. He gets the up air ladder going and a panic option coming out from Giovanni. And he's able to capitalize, but no more ladders at this point. It's going to have to do it the uh, old fashioned way. Set oh. something up. Looks for the tech chase down and smash, but does not find it. Just jumping in and out of Giovanni's range. The banana are doing so much work for Giovanni right now. Uh, Back questionable though? monkey flip. Is he able to capitalize? Oh, uh, uh, questionable barrel explosion, too. Both of them <laughs> kind of questionable right there, but. You know what? This is the nerve setting in. Go, go home with the photo. He has the banana in hand. Drops it. I was a little scared. There's a Andy forward smashes the landing, and that's gonna be the 2-0 for Gohan. Big, big dab on for him. Gohan, keeping the hopes alive for that pull. So now yeah, we that's have gonna a be 